The latest destruction show for New Japan Pro Wrestling here in 2018 is in the books. It's time for my review. It has stuff for the opener, sixth man tag. Yui Mora, Nakanishi, Nagata taking on Suji, Kojima, and Tenzan, Kojima-san. Bless him, I'm so happy he's back. As uh, Tenzan and Nakanishi start this off, uh, really nothing too crazy in this match, obviously, with uh, a lot of the old guard. Some of the, the newer guys, they would try to do some cool shit there as a... Uh, Kojima hits the Koji Cutter. Suji begs for the tag. Kojima tags in the young lion. Suji with a giraffe kick into a Boston Crab. Nagata counters it. Nagata with an exploder and a crossface. And Suji taps out. I did enjoy the Satoshi Kojima and Yuji Nagata exchange. I love both those guys. So it's always awesome when they uh, get into the mix. Uh, the story of, of Suji wanting to prove something to the old guard that cost them everything. Cost them the match, you know, to lose. Uh, that's a, you know, a simple story. Those young lions, you'll see that a lot throughout uh, New Japan. You know, the young lion wanting to prove a, prove himself, prove he belongs, and then usually it falls back on him and he <laughs> bites him in the butt and usually he takes the fall. But, uh, yeah, that was a, a simple little opener there as uh, the next match, tag match to a Hanare. Show to Yumino taking on David Finley Jr. and Ren Narita. David Finley looking like the lead singer for Steel Panther. He's trying to figure out a look. He might have actually got a look now that he's figured it out. Just kind of looks like a fucking dude who uh, is a lead singer for a, for a hair metal band. As uh, Narita and Yumino started off, I'm always impressed how well these two can chain wrestle with each other. I mean, these two, like, when they get to a the level where they're at, where they can start being on main shows and stuff, I would love to see those two in an actual series of matches. Because uh, they have some great chemistry just early on. Yumino gets a bloody nose, though. A uh, beautiful top rope drop kick, though, from uh, Yumino, as on the Dave Finley Jr. Uh, choke breaker from David Finley. Yumino kicks out two, which I was actually surprised. I thought that was going to be the finish, even though that's not really, like, a Dave Finley, like, finish move. I was just like, oh, shit. You know, that's, that's got to be it. But Yumino kicks out two. He uh, falls up there with a stunner for the win. Again, uh, I, I'm impressed with Rin Narita and Shota Yumino's performances. I've been impressed throughout their young lion tenure so far. They, uh, they're they special. They really are. I think they have the tools to do a lot of great stuff. Especially with main wrestling stuff. I, they probably won't do that a lot once they uh, evaluate out of the young lion way of, uh, of wrestling. But I love it, man. I love guys that can actually do it. And it looks like legitimate and awesome. They're pretty good at it, so that was, uh, it's always nice to see. But, uh, speaking of unimpressed, though, <laughs> this next match, Azuka taking on Yoshida, fucking Azuka attacks him with a chair on the ramp. Azuka tries to murder Kevin Kelly, though, but he's just able to get away from him before he gets murdered on New Japan World. Uh, Azuka chokes out Yoshida with a rope, as, uh, hits him with a metal claw, DQ in the match, as, uh, of course, of course it was gonna be a total waste of fucking time. Let's just move on to that. Next match, 4-on-4, four four, Chaos versus Lion Mark, uh, the junior 8-man uh, tag, as well as Brandon Rapungi 3K to get on Liger, Raisuke Taguchi, Tiger Mask 4, and Kushida showing Liger, starting it off, as uh, tilt a world backplager from Liger into a Romero special. God bless that man. As uh, Yo almost gets Irish whipped into Gucci's uh, butt, stops before he goes head first into it, and then shoves his fingers in his ass. What a goddamn spot. That was as some great uh, sequences, though, from Kushida and Osprey. Of course, that's what uh, I was looking forward to the most, was those two interactions with each other. But Tiger Driver onto Rocky Romero from Tiger Mask 4, who uh, who kicks out a two, though. He falls over the tombstone, though, for the win. I give this some great comedy spots, some great wrestling spots from Kushida and Osprey. Just all around a good undercard multi-man tag match. No complaints there. As KS taking on Best Friends in the next match. KS does most of the offense early on in the match. A triple German suplex from Davies Boy Smith Jr. Ends with a bridge. Kicks out of two. That, that was awesome. Crowd popped for that, too. They were all about it. As uh, Trent hits his uh, little step-up tornado DDT on Davies Boy Smith Jr. Using Lance Archer to do the uh, tornado part. Oh, I'm always a sucker for that. I don't know why. I always thought that, that spot looks cool whenever people do it. Uh, as uh, Chuck Taylor does a tote base to the floor. On to Dave Boy Smith Jr. Lance Archer catches Trent or does uh, a tope suicida. Hits up with a choke slam on the apron. As uh, back into the ring, Trent uh, counters the choke slam with a roll up. Lance Archer kicks out of two. Killer bomb though on the Trent and KS get the win. Yeah, no surprise there. That was 
figure chaos was gonna get the one the, like when you see the titan tron for trent it's not even just like best friends or anything it's just heavyweight trent you're just like yeah he's not they're not gonna win this one <laughs> they uh they are very high on chaos so i figured they uh, give him the win there as uh, suzuki gun versus lij 3v3 as uh, Sonata puts a paradise lock on Kanemaru early on in the match. Uh, nice to see Evil and Zack Sabre Jr. had most of the sequences in the match and most of the time in the ring was Evil and Zack Sabre Jr. So that's awesome. Glad they uh, got to uh, go in there and kill it. Lariat from Evil. Zack Sabre Jr. kicks out. Zack counters the STO with a backslide with the bridge for the win. A sneaky little pin there. And he gets the win. Steals one for Suzuki Gun over LIJ. And uh, the next match, Lion Mark vs. Chaos 4v4. Before the match, Okada playfully has to push Jay White to the corner. He wants to start this off against Tanahashi. Okada and Tanahashi started off. Jay White, though, again, just like the first structured show, Lion tags himself in off Okada. Tanahashi hits a sling blade, though, on Okada later on in the match. Okada has, rolls out of the way from the high fly flow. Yoshiashi floors Juice with a Laird, who just barely kicks out. And uh, Yoshiashi counters Pulp Friction. Jay White, though, accidentally hits Yoshiashi as uh, Juice then hits Pulp Friction on Yoshihashi for the win. And I really enjoyed the stuff with Yoshihashi and Juice. Those two, they seem like they had great chemistry just from the, the sequences they had. Hopefully they do get a bigger match at, at a uh, bigger show, just a singles match or something. As, again, you know, the story of Chaos having the, uh, the tension built between Jay White and Okada... Could honestly see JY costing Okada's match against Tanahashi and costing the briefcase, thus creating the singles match with JY and Okada. And it's like, whoever loses lo leaves chaos or something like that. As uh, co main event time, never open weight championship match. As uh, our lord and savior, Tai Chi, looks to take away the gold from Hiroki Goto. As it's uh, cool to see Goto uh, do the uh, Shibata sit. That was, that's always awesome. They still plan up. You know, their, their friendship and partner ship as uh, Tai Chi hits Goto with a chair and chokes him out with it. They go into the crowd, they come back to the ringside, and Tai Chi use, uses a chair from the crowd. Back in the ring, they trade strikes, forearms from Goto, kicks from Tai Chi. But the pants are off, though, as Goto has to sidestep the kick. Goes for a headlock, but Tai Chi does a beautiful Sayuto suplex. Follows up with an Enziguri. Goto kicks out a two. Goto uh, gets a headlock. And he transitions it into a dragon sleeper, but Kanemaru comes in and breaks it up. Goto kills him with a lariat, though. Absolutely turned him inside out. El Desperado also comes in. Goto lariats, it him, lariats him to the outside. Rapungi 3K come in and attack him. And take him to the back as uh, Goto hits a Yurigoshi into a Shouten. And uh, Red Shoes is still knocked out, though. Doesn't make uh, a pinfall attempt as Goto kicks the shit out of Tai Chi some more. Just those kicks to the chest. Hits a GTR. Tai Chi, though, kicks out a two. Azuka then makes a run in. A fucking course he does. Red Shoe stops him, though. Luckily, and Goto just hits a Laird on him to the floor. Off the apron. And Tai Chi does a ghetto clutch. Goto kicks out a two. I always love the, the ghetto clutch. That's, that's awesome. As Tai Chi hits his final powerbomb. The stack pin, of course, like uh, Toshi Akikawada used to do. As Goto kicks out, though, a two. As uh, Tai Chi falls up with the Black Mephisto for the win, he did it! Yes! <laughs> yes! I'm so fucking happy for him. Uh, the new Never Open Weight Champion, Tai Chi, God bless him. I hope he holds the belt at Wrestle Kingdom, but who knows? So that Never Open Weight belt, it's a, a tough belt to hold. As uh, main event time, though, Minoru Suzuki vs. Tetsuya Naito. Suzuki jump starts the match while Naito's taking off his suit. Most of the early stuff takes place on the ringside area or, or on the outside into the crowd for the first like five or ten minutes. Back into the ring though, Suzuki puts a Kimura on Naito. Naito starts mounting a comeback. Suzuki fucking kills him though with some forearm shots that uh, echo. Like that was crazy. Like he had the first one and just the crowd popped. Like you could just hear it like it echoed throughout the arena. He knocked the shit out of him. Has a couple of PK kicks too from Suzuki. Red Shoe stops Suzuki from using a chair. Suzuki throws a table on Naito that puts a dent in it. That was awesome. <laughs> you could just see Naito's face is dent and broke through the table. Uh, I do fucking love Red Shoes, though. Suzuki tries to use another chair. Red Shoes locks his legs and body around it so he can't use it. It was fucking awesome. 
Suzuki again does that awesome sleeper spot off the apron where Naito just like hangs off and he's just like hanging off and kicking his legs around. I love that spot. As Naito counters the gotch style pile driver into a neck breaker off the apron through a table there as Naito's got some momentum now. You know, Suzuki rolls into the ring for uh, before the 20 count into a drop kick, follows it up with a Glorium, which Suzuki kicks out. Suzuki blocks a Destino. Suzuki goes for that drop kick that's awesome, but he gets met with Naito's flying forearm. Suzuki counters the Destino into an ankle lock, then transitions into a leg lock. Usually, he was down there for about four or five minutes, it felt like, but Naito finally gets to the ropes. As uh, Naito finally gets back, he gets palm strike to death, though, into a sleeper hold from Suzuki. As Naito blocks the pile driver, uh, he counters it into a Destino, but doesn't have enough energy to pin him. The two men start trading palm strikes. Till Naito gives him an enziguri that floors Suzuki as Naito does a gotch style power bomb. That actually looked pretty cool. I don't know if Suzuki just didn't want to get dumped with his head, so he like countered it into a power bomb. Either way, it looked fucking awesome as Naito hits a Destino and gets the win. I love this main event. I, I it actually told a story. It wasn't what Omega and Ishii's main event was, where it was just a bunch of moves and shit. It actually was a story, and the story, really, the, the only story was just Ishii trying to beat him. Here, you know, Suzuki jumps during the match, beating the shit out of him early on. Naito has to make a comeback, Suzuki cuts him off, beats the shit out of him some more. Naito has to counter a pile driver into a neck breaker off the apron through a table just to get momentum back again. Uh, Naito starts getting some more offense in, but Suzuki has to counter him to get back control, tries to wear him down with submissions to make him tap. Naito's now got to fight to just stay in the match. He's got to fight to get to the ropes. And he's got to continue to fight and persevere until he actually wins the match at the end. Such a simple story for fans to follow. In Suzuki matches especially, he's really great at still telling a story. He's you know a bit of the old, old school. You know He wrestles, he's a grappler. So you know he's wanting to get somebody to the ground and wear him down and put submission holds on and make him tap. You know, it's... Now, and he's added the pile driver, the gotcha pile driver, so well, though, to make it where at least he has an impact move to beat somebody with. But I, I just personally, I really enjoy any Suzuki match where it's a singles match because you could really see the greatness about him and what makes him so great just to, throughout those singles matches because he tells a story. Every, pretty much every Suzuki singles match tells that same type of story throughout it as, uh, you know, a Naito. Played his role to perfection. I think getting another big win over Suzuki here. And I think this match was done better than their IC title match. But I just really enjoyed that. And that will do it for me, though, for this show. As uh, just comparing the two shows. This was a co-main and main that I really enjoyed. Was invested in and it delivered. Whereas compared to the previous, it was just that main event. So I'd honestly prefer this show over the first show, but in all honesty, that third show is going to probably take the cake for that uh, Tanashi and Okada match, because it's going to have the great moves that made Omega and Ishii so great, and it's also going to tell a great story that this match had with Naito and Suzuki had, and it's going to combine them, and it's going to be fucking awesome. Can't wait for it, but I will catch you guys next time for the, for the preview of that show, Destruction in Kobe. Take care.